Tim in Portland, <laughs> I paid over two million in taxes last year. It needs to get over it. Uh, uh, no, no, let me just run no. down this. Bill in California, there's no law that says you have to pay income taxes. That old gag. That old gag. I, I mean, I know it's real, but really, you got to try it. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at by that old gag. Yeah, All they do exactly. is say yes, you do, and and that's it. If you don't, that's it. You understand how we're living, man? Yeah, hold that's on a minute. Scary. Ant doesn't know how right he is. There's a lot of dudes out here who will look at this guy as a martyr, even though you yeah. you didn't say martyr with this guy, did you? Yeah, I said a lot of people will look at him, or, or there are certain people that will look at him as a martyr, right? as a patriot. Talking about the guy who uh, crashed oh. into that building, yeah. the IRS building in uh, Austin. Uh, what about Charlie Rangel? He hasn't paid taxes for years, and he just gets a pass. I've been battling yeah. the IRS for 12 years. There's just thugs for Congress. Uh, I've had problems with the IRS, and while I don't agree with this guy, I understand. Yep. And if this guy listened to all the tax relief commercials you guys air, he wouldn't have run the plane into the building. <laughs> so, yeah. Patrice, I got a note that you were just uh, uh, foaming listening to the show on the, on your way in today, huh? I wish I can go back in time and, uh, sorry, is that no, 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 I wish I can go back in time and not be so fucking dumb. Because I think when they say youth is wasted on the young, yeah, I think it means... You, we're all irrelevant right now. Mm -hmm. The people that are fucking mad, it don't matter. We're don't old. Matter. We're stuck. We. I love my ceiling fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I got some dogs. Mm -hmm. Bitch needs some shoes. Uh, something happens to say I need to pay. It, it, you're, 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 you're in you, your rut. You are a willing participant uh -huh. in this shit. Oh, we've been brainwashed. Many, many years of growing you're, up in this. We're just kind of brainwashed. You're part of the machine. Part yeah. of the machine. <laughs> but I, I heard a guy do an interview one time on, on one of these, um, you know, like the Info Wars, the Alex Jones kind of thing. Mm -hmm. He was just doing an interview. And it was it was, it was on iTunes. And he said something. And, and it stuck with me just in a practical way. He said, um, he said, are you, aren't you just, uh, like he was talking about, like, how to, the government has a thing they call, uh, 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 Bohemian Grove, where they just all go there and all the leaders of the world put on suits and they burn owls and it's a fact. <laughs> it's not a f pretend thing. And he just goes, that, that doesn't bother you? Like, he didn't even try to make a point. He goes, doesn't that just bother you? And so at the end of the day, the government, the fact is, the government owes the bank. Mm -hmm. The bank of the Federal Reserve Bank. It, it, this is... Owns the government. The government o owes them money. Yeah, when you owe someone, they own you. The government owns us. We are here only to pay the government back for the money it owes the bank. That's what we are. And fuck the argument. That doesn't bother you? We're just the fucking batteries in the matrix. <laughs> they, they don't take all your money. Because they don't have enough people to stop 300 million people from fucking shit up. From taking all our money. All of it. It's arbitrary. But, but you know something? When income tax first started, if they said 50%, give us half your shit, mm -hmm. there would have been a revolution when they first immediately. did that. Immediately. We're yeah. living worse. But they're able to just, every few years, they change the tax code, which I talked about just before which is a giant fucking volumes of shit no one could possibly understand no one could possibly fucking understand it, it's it's it, but there's people who are so willing and this is the thing it can't happen without our own help this is why i hate people where we I, 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 I hate she? the tsa i hate uh uh mm -hmm. uh the fucking Good. meter maids yeah i hate people whose job it is to fuck you because it's their job well, it, and they just That's say, a lot they, of go, jobs, they go, thank you. Yes. It's like, listen, we need you to just give uh, out tickets. We don't give a fuck. Guy's trying to get into to work. He parks. He might come out. It's 30 seconds overtime. Give him a fucking $65. And all and, he's and, trying to do is his job. He, he, it's he, not like he's decided to park there and do something yeah, leisurely. Yeah. 
he's actually trying to get his job done for that. And, and the politicians just look the other way. That shit drives me fucking nuts because you, you hear from these companies, they go, well, I had to go down to City Hall and make a deal with them because I owed over $100,000 in parking tickets for doing his job for and for his doing. employees doing yeah. their jobs. They don't care. Right. And the money doesn't exist. The mm. money doesn't exist. This is why they print it all. Because here's the thing. Have you ever looked in your bank account? I mean, I know you got a lot of money, but you still must just enjoy hearing the fucking balance from time to time on something. No, nowadays it just makes me nervous. Just to, because I've gone into yeah. my account. I'm not at a place where I go f not, not into my account. Mm hmm and sometimes there might be a dollar missing or ten. I go, hmm. I know that I had something, something, something. <laughs> ten. Ten. <laughs> I got something, something, something. Four. Not ten. Four. <laughs> it's like, what? So I'm like, somebody just took something. Because I paid for, I swear to God, I paid for uh, a coffee once. It was two dollars. I paid with a credit card. We don't have money's useless right mm -hmm. now. So once all the money is just garbage, and we're paying with, they could just take it. They don't need to come and send the army to take your shit. They just take your shit, pay back somebody. That, that, see, this is where all, we talk about race a lot on this show and shit, man. I love talking about race because I think this shit is fun. Yeah. I think it's it fun is, not liking other motherfuckers for what they do. <laughs> exactly. But at the end of the day, I don't have any hatred because I know it's a scam to get my. I used to hate these, the militia guys in the hills. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they have, they paint them to me as a black man, crazy motherfuckers who are out to kill me. That's yeah, yeah. their point. K -K -K They're practicing and, right. to kill me. Yeah. Those guys are practicing for the government because <laughs> they don't want to fucking pay taxes. They're well read about the fucking uh, uh, the, the the Constitution mm -hmm. when they go when they go uh, uh, the Second Amendment guns we no guns to me you if you're not educated to some degree yeah you go oh why the fuck do these crazy goddamn crackers need guns <laughs> all they gonna do is come kill me what the fuck I fuck that get them <laughs> but now I know once you learn oh shit it's to protect you from what's going on right fucking now. Cops are out of hand. I mean, look, there's some as a as a where I grew up, mm -hmm. a cop is a cop because he got his uniform on. We didn't give a fuck about a cop. Cop was the enemy. As I get older, on property, meet police. <laughs> yes, exactly. And, you want and them humanize there. them, right? Mm -hmm. I go, damn. I don't just say, oh, fuck a cop, but there are cops who think they're the police because they're the police. <laughs> they not the law. There used to be things you can say, like, hey, man, you can't just do that to me, cop. They have a thing called disorderly conduct, which erases all your horse shit that you think you know about the law. It's essentially to say, I can do anything I fucking want to you. Oh, you can be anytime. brought in for anything. Anytime. Any yeah, anytime. Disorderly Don't conduct. Don't question authority. Disorderly, uh, disorderly conduct is that one of those things where it's like, I just, I didn't like what you just said yes. to me. Yes. And we, and here's mm. the problem. Fuck all the top people. It's us doing it to each other. We just say yes. Yeah, I yeah. will fuck other people. Yeah, we're at yes. the bottom of the little marionette strings. <laughs> you know? We just go yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So what? Guy, guy and I fucking African, quote unquote, tries to blow up a plate. This inept little douchebag. With his underwear African, bomb. With his underwear bomb to get us to submit. To showing my non big dick in an X ray. <laughs> no, now we gotta all show our penises. My funny, my funny hanging balls. Some cunt, some fat bitch from Newark. She gets to see my balls hang, and she gets level twelve clearance. It's bullshit. I, I'm gonna make my balls very gamey. For now on, when I have to fly, <laughs> just so they can see a fungus. Yeah, just very. Let game. something grow but, to it becomes but, uh, uh, explosive material. <laughs> but Patrice, <laughs> you're going off on a lot of different uh, tangents. Not here, really, which is but fine. It's the same. Not really. But bring it back to the guy who uh, crashed his plane down it's in Austin. It's all the same. Yeah, that's he did what I'm that for that. He's he feels why, like he'd rather die. And why doesn't the mainstream media? Because when we say the media, people go, "You're the media." Uh, why doesn't the mainstream media pick up on some of these points? And why do they just go for the do easy, you know the why? easy out and just go? Well, uh, another fucking kook decided to blah blah. Because they're part, they're the TSA, they're they're the 
the the the National Guard who, if they're told to come Dude. and lock down a community, yeah, yeah, or they're the guys in the movies with the with the helmets on <laughs> that say you got the outbreak monkey shit. <laughs> the, the the news are are just they they're told what to fucking do and yeah. they do it. Listen, and then going with that point, we have uh, eight TVs in the studio right now. We have a guy. That flew a plane into a building yesterday because he's a bit disgruntled, and some say he's just a crazy man, whatever. Some crazy. But it certainly yeah. should open up a discussion. Yep. But instead, I'm watching the TVs around our studio tiger, set up for the tiger, big Tiger, tiger Woods tiger, fucking tiger. press conference today. Tiger, Look, tiger, there's tiger, a guy. Tiger, he's tiger. live. He's a local guy. He has to be there for the big Tiger Woods press conference today, which is a nothing press conference that's going to last less than five minutes. It means fucking nothing to just about every single person that's going to watch this horse shit on TV today. And open dialogue and, and on They this. don't want that. I'm a, I'll tell you what they'll do. do not. They'll fucking shake Haiti again before they let this <laughs> motherfucker. They'll figure out how to make Haiti another earthquake Hard. so we can sing songs so, so that this motherfucker looks like a lone kook. That you don't it. talk about, but this motherfucker killed himself. Reading, look at this. reading his fucking letter, dude. You you understand but, his frustration. But look at this. They're discussing. Uh, maybe I can pop They're it discussing out Tiger. Yeah, you know, you think about that, uh, and I think uh, David Faraday, uh, the golf uh, analyst, said he wouldn't be surprised if he sees Tiger uh, take the whole year off. Uh, wow, a lot of other really? People think uh, he's going to go back to rehab, and then. Uh, the feeling God is killed he's himself going to play in the, in bay, plane. You know, the Arnold Palmer event, which is just outside of his house. This is what uh, they need to discuss. Uh, Not at the IRS. And, uh, they're uh, just and then, discussing you know, it in a serious manner like they if should be discussing the guy that just flew a plane year, into a I'm building. This, this is David Blaine waving his hand over to the left uh, while he does something over here on the right. This is what they're discussing today. I've barely seen coverage on the plane crash. Barely. That's the story from outside here. Let's send it back to you. Thank you, Duke. All right, you can see Tiger's comments right here. Here on well, Fox thank God. This thank you. At thank you. Well, thank we you. Yeah, we had an open I'm discussion well, about um, uh, t taxes and the government and and why an individual would do something like this instead of just writing it off as a manifesto, a, a, a wandering, um, crazy diatribe. Uh, how about you just openly discuss it? Mm -hmm. uh, I like what Patrice said about we are more fucked now than we were when we like left England. When and, we and, when and this country here, was when, created, when it was a colony, and England said, "Send your shit. You could live there, mm -hmm. but send all your shit over to us. All the riches and and good shit because you belong to us still." And then the Patriots said, "You know something? I like this place. Fuck the king. Fuck this shit. This is now us. We live here." And then England goes, "Hey, no, fuck you. We're yours. All right, war. Now we're gonna fight you." to keep this shit it's worse now than it was then yep. they're asking for a lot more yep. even in you know now dollars and shit like that uh... i always liked the quote the tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time with the blood of patriots and tyrants you would well, never are, are hear you a politician willing, are you willing say to that take now. a bullet though i am much too on the, important on the, on the lie <laughs> i am That's much what I'm too important uh, I know exactly. Are you that, willing to take, get smoked that's for saying, your belief? Though, that's that 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 quote is is Thomas Jefferson, who is looked at as you know the fucking patriot, national hero, fucking founding father. But he said shit like that. That if you said it now. You're locked the fuck up as some kooky militant militia guy. And here's the thing: if you look at the Constitution, mm -hmm. they put things. And in order, order of importance, of importance to keep England from fucking you in your asshole. They didn't say in no particular order. First thing, <laughs> yeah. the news. Yeah. Meaning what you just said. Why is this douchebag talking about Tiger well, when this guy be talking about something a little more serious? Thinking yeah. he did a revolutionary act to please everybody. Listen, right. right. The freedom of press. The mm -hmm. freedom for for people to go. No, 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 no. This is some fucked up shit going on. Yeah. But this, the press isn't free. Fox is, you know, they they own news. CNN owns news. This shit is. Yeah. So the second thing is guns. Right. They thought that the people should have pistols. Number two with a bullet, guns. Number two. <laughs> Number two. Number thriller. The thriller of Constitution. <laughs> Man, no, no. The Eagles. The Eagles' uh, best greatest hits album. Number one. That 
<laughs> the eagles of the Constitution <laughs> was the press should be able to say anything they fucking want. They right. expose this bullshit. Number two, in Speak case you said mind, that, no, without persecution. Thriller was fucking... And then I don't even know what uh, ACDC Black... Uh, I think, was I think AC that's one of those wacky, <laughs> you shall not be able to take a soldier and yeah. put him in your house and board him during some type of war or peace time. Kind of there's, 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 there's a ter term called uh, uh, posse comitatus. You know, you just be on there, one thing leads to another. Posse comitatus, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's a law, supposedly. You yeah. know, they made yeah. it. The Army can't do civilian police work. Right. If you see an army in your neighborhood, a motherfucker with army shit, <laughs> yes. that's illegal. The government is not supposed to be sending the fucking army to do shit in your neighborhood. It's mm -hmm. standing army where you live. It's illegal. But whatever. <laughs> but that's what we are. Hey, what are you going to do? They want what they want. Two million dollars. Hey, stop complaining. Yeah, I stop play, complaining. I play my tides. You douches. The guy doesn't even understand. I understand you paid over two million in taxes right, last year. Were you guy. happy? Let's say hi to Tim in uh, Portland. Hey Tim. Tim. Tim, were you happy paying over two million dollars in taxes? And what percentage of what you make is two million? Uh, you know, honestly, I got to set this up the right way and say that uh, I used to be a poor black kid in the Bronx, and I grew up and I got into microprocessing, and um, you know, so I I always dreamed about being rich, and now that I am, it really doesn't. It it. I just look at it this way: the government is the biggest mafia in the world. And you gotta pay to play. Gotta pay to play. And you're okay with that? No, I'm not okay with it. But when, uh, I, I believe that the, the asshole who killed himself would have killed himself for another reason. He was nuts. It had nothing to do with taxes. Well, when uh, is uh, when is enough going to be enough, though? That's the question today. Uh, uh, well, That's the question today. As they continue to take more and more uh, of, of your money, and and you do feel. Out there, something is going on. Something's bubbling, and what is that going to lead? Is that going to lead to anything? Maybe, it, maybe it never leads to anything. I don't know. And when will you feel? Yeah, when like will you feel, feel it? Yeah. Right. Well, honestly, I always feel like something's bubbling because I'm a black guy. But, but, <laughs> but I mean, honestly, uh, I think you're I'm, lying. I'm always afraid of people. <laughs> so the idea of a bunch of people getting together with this fervor, I mean, first they're pissed off about the taxes, then they're coming for my ass. And it's a big plan too, brother. Because listen. It, everybody, it's like everything in this world, right? The, this is a lottery. Mm -hmm. We gotta have some people hit a lottery so everybody can think that they can win. Right, right. So Hope. when when you have a bootstrap <laughs> story like you picked yourself up from the Bronx, everybody has to. We have to hear these kind of stories to make people who might fly a plane into a building for some reason go maybe tomorrow. Yeah, right. Go. <laughs> maybe hey, tomorrow's this my guy's day. This an yeah. asshole. Where I get to make my because I did it. But right. it's not, this is a system, man, that's based on, like, like a lot of women don't understand, right, the women's liber thing, the women's liberation mm -hmm. movement. They think it was based on, hey, we're tired, it's wrong to just continue to fuck women on every level. <laughs> no, it's because these bitches was home raising the kids, and they wasn't getting taxed. <laughs> They, had, they, didn't, treasure. they didn't make no motherfucking money. So get these bitches riled up so they can go out there and make some money so we can take that shit because we owe. Half the population isn't paying taxes. Uh, hold on a minute. We get owe, them out nigga. there working. Hold on a minute. probably going to look down if he's really feeling emotional. Do you think he should read from a statement or do you think he should just say it from his heart? <laughs> Reading from a statement is the worst thing. You come across as unemotional. It's just right, tiger right. woods. Right. Tiger woods. Right. So what you I, want to I do is you want to make very disillusioned. <laughs> And then <laughs> now they're doing body and language. They got body I'm language he's experts. He's going to be doing some self-touching, pacification, oh, making himself feel pacification better. Pacification really I what? Look for what genuine remorse. What is he going to suck really on the nipple of a hooker? Yeah. Let's look at some of the uh, past uh, mea culpas that we've had in our news. Uh, the first one is our former <laughs> slide of hand Elliot right Spitzer, there. He apologized. There's some slide of hand you're saying. You're seeing magic tricks to every New York. And oh, and to, yeah. I guarantee if you find something that's talking about the IRS guy, mm -hmm. they, he's just a mental case. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And that's what he is. Patrice, eight TVs on. Every once in a while I see the shot of the building on fire, but I don't see them sitting down with experts. They're not discussing, or, right. Or, 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 or anybody. I, I'm sure they did a little discussing on Fox News last night. But and, not in... in and the, CNN and not, MSNBC, but... Uh, not on a level of what... what was affecting him that he did this. They didn't. They don't delve into it. Like so I said, just broad strokes, six, right? Six pages that this guy wrote 
that was pretty concise and understandable. It wasn't, it wasn't a rambling diatribe. I understood everything that was written there. It wasn't like uh, my dog was talking to me. Satan told me to do this. Fucking, you know, it, it, it made sense. It was his story from the time he was uh, in high school till the time he said, uh, goodbye, I'm fucking crashing my plane uh, into a building. All in between was his life and how disgusted he was at American people for just being sheep and how uh, he bought into it and then how disillusioned he got when time and time again he just got fucked in the sure. ass what? and then it, it's like I had no problem understanding what he was writing why why I'm not flying a plane into a fucking building right, right. They, but I understood his writings they uh, basically label us as shock jocks why are we talking about this way more than any fucking news reader this today? is shocking uh, it's unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> because they yeah. don't want to. Yeah. And, and a Rod. Yeah. Also a Rod. A -Rod. Yeah, apology. throw A Rod yeah. in. It had to do with steroids. My cousin started telling me. The White House also said, and they put this out so quickly this is not a terrorist event. This, don't worry, it's not terrorism. Now, Hold on. Uh, I see Here is yeah. a guy I see what you're doing over there. that is disgruntled Whoa, a bit. with the United <laughs> States government and decided to take a, a violent action against <clears throat> the government because of his um, hatred, disillusionment, uh, disenchantment, whatever. He is a terrorist. But you, you know... I'm not saying... But the reason they're not right, is right. because, you know, they call it Big Sis now. They're not Big Brother. Right, right, if people right. are not, you know, they call, used to call it Big Brother. Now it's Big Sis because there's a woman yeah. that runs the show. She made priority one in terms of terrorism acts, but no one's talking about it. It's just in there. It's just... Are white are the crazy crackers in the hills? Yeah, yeah, Our yeah. number one priority for the safety of this country are the crazy... The, the quote unquote, because I'm on, the, I'm saying quote unquote, because I'm, I'm not buying into it. Mm -hmm. Is these guys in the hills who just want to be left alone? Yeah, those guys are the next guys. This is perfect for them to muscle those dudes. Like mm -hmm. the not, not even uh, what was Ruby Ridge? Ruby Ridge, right, right. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, not, not necessarily David Waco. De Waco, but. That was one of those things where they make us go, this is a this is a fucking kook. <laughs> but here's the thing. 30 million black folks, right? Okay? Very difficult for me to go, yeah, this this guy with his fucking uh, crocodile Dundee hat and his, <laughs> and his fucking cross eye, <laughs> I'm on his side. See, it, that's why the racial game has to go on. Right. Because if you're going up there fucking with these crazy crackers in the hill who have cults, and we don't apply mind thinking to that this is this is all a setup because the government doesn't want us to really it's be a upset. divide and conquer kind of a thing too. It, there's strength in numbers, so the more you can put people into categories and divide them up, the less they're going to get together and band together and go. We're getting fucked here. That's why everybody and and don't get this uh, twisted, anybody. I do not See, again. I do not support uh, us. Being together, <laughs> yes, me because neither. anybody <laughs> who has any charisma that could galvanize people to think and come together for common good in, that. in history gets fucking smoked. <laughs> Starting with Jesus, <laughs> Gandhi smoked, Lincoln yep. free the slaves smoked. Yep, Malcolm X when he was hating white folks. Wonderful life he was living. Mm -hmm. When he went and found out white people were like Muslim, like him, and he was rethinking it. Get your hand on my pocket, nigga. <laughs> smoked. <laughs> Martin Luther King smoked. Gandhi smoked. Yeah. yeah. Fucking D D Donald Rumsfeld lives a wonderful life. Anwar Sadat fucking shaking hands with Menachem Begin. Smoked. Smoked. Bringing people together. <laughs> what kind of cigarettes? <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> fucking lead, lead <laughs> cigarettes. Oh, oh, fucking oh. leadies. They oh. call them leady non-filters. Dead. Oh, dead. dead. Sorry, <laughs> sorry for all the fucking crackers in the hills that I'm trying to relate to. He was murdered. All right, listen, uh, we're gonna take a break, and uh, we'll move on to other things, but we'll keep this topic uh, on the table today, right? Yeah, it's a biggie. Uh, there was a uh, a cop in Virginia who's uh, in trouble. He pulled this guy over for drunk driving, 
and for some reason took the guy's mobile phone and found a bunch of pictures of, of him banging his girlfriend on the phone, which I don't know how that's part of the traffic why stop. Would, yeah, if you're a Dewey, why would they then look at the his Maybe the guy was phone? texting or something while he was driving? No, so I, the, the he, cop says, give me that fucking phone. I don't think they have a right to look into your fucking phone. Uh, obviously, they don't, but like how, that, how did it get right. to a point, like <laughs> yeah. Laszlo's saying, how did it get to the point where yeah. the cop is going through your phone now? Oh, the law so is he, actually ooh. now saying that your phone is just like your wallet. So just holy like the, shit! No, yep. So when they That's, go through your wallet for like ID and stuff yep. like that after they arrest you, that they have the right. So this uh, there was this guy, Sergeant Matt Borders. He pulled this guy over, found a bunch of uh, the pictures of this guy taken of himself banging his chick, and he announces on the radio that private pictures were available for their for uh, other police officers <laughs> viewing and enjoyment. Oh shit! And the picture must have, they must have been good. Um, and a fed. So the guy sued. And a federal judge said they uh, the police couldn't be held responsible and they didn't violate the guy's constitutional rights. Wow. Yeah. How? How? Because how? it's over, nigga. Yeah, it right. is. It really right. is. Yeah, it's exactly what we were talking about earlier. It's a wrap. It's over. So the Supreme been, Court over, over the last yeah. 10 years has really weakened a lot of the, the, the supposed rights that you had. Electronic to... medium is a weird fucking thing. That's the only thing I'll give them. It's like, it's a weird area where it's... Because it doesn't really exist. These are magnetic impulses, electronic impulses, that when put in the right places, form this, that, or the other thing. So, like, what gives them the right to to look at it? Or, or in, you know, investigate, look into your phone, your <laughs> contact, your fucking well, pictures. Well, give them the right your... and they just feel like it. Is that now it's too late to turn back. It's like... You know That's what it is? Up. The the they, the people, the real soldiers, like the real people who are like, what the fuck are up on this shit? Mm -hmm. Sc screaming. They've been screaming and people convinced that they were crazy. Mm. But now the people who are surprised by this are fucking like cornballs. Like people that go, oh my God, I can't believe they're doing that. Who's going to do something? All the people that they put in prison <laughs> for being crazy. <laughs> yeah. Now it's left to you, bitch, with your mouth open going, how can they do this? It's too late. That's why now, doing people it. are catching on more. But but do you look back and hit? Because I, I hate when it's like you start thinking you're at this moment in history where it's like, wow, I think people are catching on. And this might be a turning point for something. And then you look back in history and realize, oh, that happened in like 54. Yep. Yeah, that happened in 54 and nothing ever came of it. Or, the, oh, yeah, that, that was <coughs> some other episode that... You know, nothing ever or in came 32. up. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, a big crash or <laughs> Nazi parties or things like. But in 32, but it's like, so, I, I, you, I, I like to that. think, like, especially with all the electronic media out there and everything, that people are kind of catching on to things. But then you just look like a dumb conspiracy theorist. <clears throat> but they catch it on to things. But they, paint they guy. people <laughs> think it's just not going to happen to them. It's too late now. Now it's like now all the real like people who will do something. Now the rights are so askew that the police and whoever else is willing, again, regular citizens, me yeah. and you, who put on a uniform, and and a lot of, and here's another thing about some of the police and some of the people in authority, <clears throat> especially women cops, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I, I was driving through the Holland Tunnel, and just two girl cops, just girls, not like not animals, <laughs> just <laughs> girls, right? Girls. And I'm looking at them, and I'm like, you know, they they don't understand how to have authority j just walking down the street like how to be somebody go i you have swagger sure. you have something where you go man i i'm a, i'm a respect this person cuz they exist their all their respect comes from the fact that somebody appointed them a badge and a gun so they're going to have to exact they're not getting natural respect so they they now get to fucking just shoot you <laughs> they get to fucking tase you and kill you the people who give them problems, while everyone else is going do to do to do, driving by as as I'm dying in the middle of the street because I'm trying to fight for my rights, which is fighting for your rights. The the fucking weak people that let this happen, it is over. It's already happened. It's fucking yeah. over, and you got a bunch of weaklings. You know, like Kenny, I respect as a cop. Kenny can <laughs> arrest you if he's not a cop. <laughs> Kenny. Doesn't need the respect of fucking having a gun and a badge yeah. to get respect. But these two girls, just in, in no offense, but just little girls. Th the fact is that you're a cop 
Because I allow you to be one. What did you What did you yell at these bitches out the window? Yeah, I want to know what, what happened. No, no, I'm not fucking. It's, did they pull it's, you over? No. It's, just a, saw it's them. a basic, and it was what this. are they going to do? Right. Sometimes That's it. when you see those, those, especially here in Manhattan, you'll see it. And, and all it is is a, a chick in a cop uniform. It's like yep. you got no authority. Yeah, he, he, oh, did no. you have the authority that I say you have because I don't want the rest of the gang to beat the dog right. shit out of me. All you got or is a, shoot me. Right, you got a radio to call the real people to come to and, come I mean, seriously, me. and it's not just a, a sweeping fucking insult. It's just the fact there's a lot of man cops mm -hmm. that you go, ugh. It's, and again, I might have said this before, but the TSA, our first line of defense, government-wise, yeah. is a fat cunt who wants to go home at three in the afternoon versus... A guy who will die yeah. trying to kill Take me. Take a bullet. I'm a bitch who's <laughs> yeah. trying to get home to watch Maury on time, who's like, can you please put your uh, computer in the thing, take your shoes off? And she's happy about the authority she has. So it's her <clears throat> versus a guy that's willing to strap explosives to his brain. The ethic <laughs> of a person who's practicing to die <laughs> versus... Can you please uh, take out? It's, this is 3.2 ounces. You have to throw this away because we're protecting you for your safety. This is for your safety. Is it for my safety? How, really How after 9 11 did they say, you know what we need for security? Let's go through the projects and recruit some people. Absolutely. Fucking, fucking, lootly. The, the dregs of humanity. Can you? Waterheads. A lot of. I travel to these. A lot of waters. Did you see the. <laughs> when I go up to the fucking thing, right? I I read the TSA and I go, listen. And again, I, not to be fucking redundant, I've said this before. I try to have as much dignity as I can have. I dress at home. I want to keep my fucking clothes on. You have to remove <laughs> your shoes. You have to remove your coat. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can keep everything else on and choose to be wanded. So if you go an hour ahead. To, to, you, you got a three o'clock flight. If you usually leave it at one, mm. leave at twelve, so that you can cause problems. And don't <laughs> don't talk about bombs. Don't talk about no, just no. say, um, sir, and go beep 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 beep. Because I got a lot of jeans that just have buttons. Yeah, that'll make the shit go off. I go, I'll take a check. Because <sighs> you know why? They hope they're lazy. Because they, they don't want to wand you because they're fat and they have to bend down and they have to <laughs> thoroughly do their job. So they try to make... And you do this on purpose just to yes. make their, their day Yes. Miserable. If I have a 3 o'clock flight, I'm at the airport at, at 11.45. Just causing problems. Causing problems. fucking problems just to maintain God my fucking dignity. Just to maintain a little that, bit of it. Absolutely. Here's where I step it up. I'm not positively sure. Like, the... Uh, the, the last African kid that was supposed to blow up the plane in Detroit. Right. I'm not positively sure that happened. I, I just believe... Real? To, for, yeah. I, it, I'm, I, I believe that they can lie. They'll be just fed information. I, You know, these these weird movies and shit. And, and you see them and you just kind of... I just kind of believe that maybe some indescript human being was made up and 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 they say he had an underwear bomb underwear bomb and it didn't go off and now we're willing to just fuck it just, all it but takes what about is the, the threat. people but what about the people all the people on the plane, on the plane that saw the smoke or, i don't I, who i don't know you guys I don't, don't know me either listen bro. that's what i'm saying i don't it's kind of hard it, to get a plane load of people and why an african I, with an underwear bomb they come up with something more devastating than an african with an underwear bomb this is a, it, it, look you is it you will easily destroy what i'm saying <laughs> I'm saying that it's it's keep the fear going and you'll keep people complying. Fear, 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 and we go okay. Yes, just take what you want. We Look have at, to. Yeah. The president, you know, this is a sad thing because this is why growing up in, in growing up black in in, a, in poor area and 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 education is not important. Well, tell me about it's it. made to be. Wait, what? It's made to be really. really it's mm -hmm. it's an, they call you white when you try to learn. Okay. But you now I'm I'm irrelevant age and getting that age where no one gives a fuck, and uh, and at, at, I realize look what the Constitution is right now. There's a point to separating Congress, the President, and 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 the the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. And so no one has one. It right now we and we are in a place 
where the Constitution was created to stop. Where if a motherfucker, <laughs> yeah. they're they taking guns, and a motherfucker, and they're controlling the news. This is the first two things, freedom of press and, and the guns. It's to protect ourselves from a tyrant in case, in case he's a traitor and becomes mm -hmm. a dictator. Now that the president can just declare war without Congress and without... It, we're, we're in the spot this is that the, place the fucking Constitution... They didn't want us to be. Yes, in. man. Yeah. I mean, and, and to me, growing up, that was all white boy shit. The Constitution. Oh, white boy shit. White boy Freedom shit. of press. Suck a dick. You know, <laughs> crackers in the hills and shit. Suck <laughs> Niggas dick. want their guns and their rifles. Fuck these crackers, old-time Western motherfuckers. <laughs> but now you see, but you see it unfold. Bush did it, but now Obama's living under that thing, and now it's white people scared. And when they get another white boy in, it's like, whew. But now he's the next level to oh, you think Obama was just a buffer between Bush uh, and the next level of it, white guy to, that's going He was gonna... there to make niggas complacent. Niggas is still it's been it's been almost 2 years. Yeah. Niggas is still like, "All right, look, he's only been in office 3 and a half years." Like, they know we're going to be controlled by by race. Yeah. We get, we get controlled by that. It's a, it's we 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 don't want to agree with white people. You know what I mean? And it, it, but but as soon as he leaves, because he's done, he didn't realize oh, this he's, was. He's on vacation. He's every just week. on vacation is, all the time now. He's looking at his thing. How many vacation days I got? Yeah, how, I won't take yeah, it. I how much longer? That. He's Wonder taking. He took him. all his vacation days in. Because he's because he's fucking. He didn't realize this was gonna be what it was <laughs> when they told him he was gonna get the job. Well, yeah, who, yeah. Who does? Like you're it. But who what? does who does the bit where you become president and then they show you what's going on in the basement to you know get you in line? Oh yeah, I've heard that one. What bit? Who does it? Uh, they show one you of our guys. Five different angles Billy? of the Kennedy assassination. Bill Burr? Might I don't be Bill Burr. Burr. Billy. I think it was Billy. Billy. It's like yeah, they take it downstairs and so you get five crystal clear different uh, angles of the Kennedy that assassination. That no one else has ever seen. It's like ah uh, yeah. Here's how shit works. Yeah, we by got the some way. stuff to show you before you actually take. And office. you walk out of the room with a little more white in your hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll bet you Bill Burr does it as a bit and in serious discussion <laughs> yeah. as well. One of those weird things. Of course. He either makes you laugh about it or he's crying alone about it. <laughs> Psychopath. Bill's hysterical. Now I kind of like shit. it though. It's, I love it. Seems like it might be sort of true. But I'm so you see this shit is because I, I I believe Obama really thought he could change the world. He hasn't really. Who the fuck teaches you oil spills in president class? Nobody. <laughs> he's not ready for this shit. No, not at all. He's done. He's just going. And he's like, get me out of this, man. Yeah. He's get me impeach me. I don't give a fuck. You think every president sits there and goes, I would have been a great president if if only blank didn't happen because they all have one. <laughs> they well, all have well, not, something. They all Reagan, have one. Reagan had a perfect eight did he, years. He didn't have shit happen and the economy nothing. didn't fall apart. Or he, had things that, he had things that kind of worked it, out wait, well for us. Uh, Seems like every president had something where if they didn't have people that. people hated him. Not, not people count. <laughs> didn't he have Pan Am? Lockerbie. 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 Yeah, Reagan. But, but he he had, made, that was a big one, but he, he handled it. But he made that. He made shit work for him. Like no matter what happened, the shuttle. Oh, the Iran Contra shit. The Iran. Exploding the Iran Contra, but, he fucking, but by that point he was just like I don't. That was all of a noise. I don't remember. <laughs> I know Jimmy, oh. Jimmy, Jimmy uh, uh, Carter. Carter. Oh. For some reason, I was too young, but for some reason, this country hates Jimmy Carter. Yeah, he stunk. He I don't know. I don't know he why. Just, he anything. just came across as kind of wimpy. People see him as also the, a lot of the time the source of our again the source of the troubles in the Middle East because he gave uh, he gave uh, he oh, took the Shah of Iran to the Shah. Sanctuary to the Shah. And uh, when the Ayatollah, when they threw, overthrew him, and they wanted him back badly in Iran. All right. How are you, Patrice? <laughs> I'm good, man. What do you think of this whole Times Square suspect thing? Some phony shit to just get fucking fat bitches all around Times Square checking you before you go into <laughs> Is that it? McDonald's. <laughs> you think Take your gonna, shoes off before you get to feel like the the airport, just walking around Times Square. <laughs> Take a bite of your sandwich before you leave to make sure there's no <laughs> yeah. fuck out of here. You want to go? I don't believe be... it at all. You know, <laughs> failed anything has anybody done? <laughs> Timothy McVeigh is a he blew up the world in a truck. This guy fucking has a. A steamy, uh, it was a fucking flat iron in there with some clothes. <laughs> so now they're going to shut down Times Square and fucking have a bunch of motherfuckers you know what? deciding to fucking you know what? You watch. violate your life. Fuck that shit. You watch, this is the last straw and it's going to drive Jimmy nuts. But now you watch, Times Square is just people now. No cars. Shut down. We can't take the chance. No cars. And people are willing to have it happen. People, oh, you yeah. need to do safety, really? You a watch. Fail, but what, how many fail bombs has there ever been? 
that you, that yeah. you wanted it to be. What did this guy put this shit together like real quick? Just willy nilly. I don't believe it. He just slapped it together. Well, he's Pakistani. He was in Pakistan well, of for five he is. months. Mm, you know. Yeah. Oh. Are you surprised? <laughs> oh. Of course he's Pakistani. Of course he goes. <laughs> it, the smart thing if they was doing this shit is just make, make him Chinese or so, something new. Something new. As opposed yeah, to really, has it been Pakistan? <laughs> uh oh. Like, really? The fuck out of here. Yesterday we were thinking for flying back to the Emirates. Like, yeah. for real? <laughs> Yesterday we were thinking uh, middle aged white guy for just a little bit. A they're few getting, hours we thought middle aged white guy. They're getting fucking super lazy. Yeah, they are. I don't believe it. I you mean, know? if it blew up, I like, you believe it, cause, but I, if, if it blew up, I still wouldn't believe that is what it was. But it's there's got to be dummy terrorists, too. Like this There's guy, a lot of them. This guy's a dummy terrorist. He I don't believe. I didn't believe in Nigerian kid. I just am not believing it, man. Yeah, his penis was on fire. A lot of people saw it. it. Yeah. You don't believe in the bomber. I'm just not believing. What do you think they are then? I'm thinking it's you know me. You know me. <laughs> <laughs> you think you it's know? just some kind of fucking like, you know, Illuminati plan? These things to make I, it look like they're thwarting a lot. I think that of... war. Yeah. We're moving out of war. Uh -huh. And we're moving into something else. We're moving into a, a world where they're trying to get you to be. It's a global uh, fucking ruler, mm -hmm. it, global ruling the banks and everything else. And I just think they're moving a little bit out of war because war is not the patriotic thing. War used to be necessary when we were split yeah, yeah. and cold and everything. But now it's like everything's becoming global. And they just I think they're just doing things to make it. Global, so they could just start implementing their so. How does shit. this do it? How does this? I mean, help it's like Arizona, man. It's just, well, it's easy. You just, you know, a couple of fucking Mexicans, you know, rape and murder a bitch in Arizona and lets people, you know, whatever you call it, those fucking chapter two hundred six and rule seventy two <laughs> yeah, and fucking yeah. this and keep, and keep let mad. police. It's the fact that they're letting police now. Mm. Or Judge Dreads, man, like just <laughs> Judge Dreads. Yeah, they could just be the law, and they could just tell you what the fuck to do, and <laughs> and then this douche, a smoky, they're ready with their bomb unit in a smoky car that doesn't explode, and Bloomberg, who's a part of these motherfuckers, seven billion dollar motherfucker with his own network, and he's down with this shit. And he just goes up, oh, they up, and now they're gonna shut Times Square now. Big fat bitch from Newark is gonna be telling me. Give me ID to walk down each block. Yeah, yeah. Like it's like fuck you. I don't, you know, I don't give a fuck, man. It's it's, it's a kind of a thing for a power grab. I hate this. I can't. I hope these fucking de ancient delivery boys from Mexico are right in 2012. I'm gonna be sitting on my roof, <laughs> ancient delivery, hoping yeah, they were that a giant fucking uh, earthquake Kaku. happened. I just hope so. Michu uh, Kaku already said that's all bullshit, the 2012 thing. I, I hope it's not. It's I just bullshit. hope something happens, because it's just ridiculous. But you're right bullshit. about Times Square. There's gonna, they're, gonna, shit. they're gonna get rid of cars now, officially. They have to. Was, they already it, it, they it were working on it already. But, yeah. but but now this makes it very easy for Bloomberg uh, to go. Look, we yeah, can't, no cars. We can't have That's fucking convenient. cars driving through this area that has a lot of people. Mm. The I'm parking just... garage people are behind it. That's who it yes. is. Yes. Everybody will need parking garages. <laughs> yes. hey, but it's already the plan is <laughs> already great. You take a turn, you go through Seventh Ave. Maybe they're trying to just completely shut down Seventh Avenue. Yeah. And uh, and but listen, here's another one I read. Mm -hmm. Another one. They're trying to stop transportation, period. Like, you, you see, there's supposed to be no money. Right. But it's constant 80-story buildings being built on the waters. And there's trains and shit on the water. They're trying to slowly control travel. Like, control oh. your movement. And they build these ah. shitty buildings stacked on top of each other, 500 people in the building. And you can't go nowhere unless you're controlled by cars trains are very and they, independent they'll just stop trains they'll stop cars where you need permission to drive like it sounds crazy but it's if they do it you'll be like oh shit they did it it's it, but it's easy to do they're gonna stop look at times square they're gonna shut that down can't drive bunch of happy people feeling safe on that red stairs and the <laughs> yeah. stupid whatever they're gonna build over you know the the disney the disney store they're building uh -huh. to take the place of virgin and yeah. all that shit and have people just happy uh -huh. gotta go and get on a train where you have to go where they won't let you drive raising the fucking to the toll for the holland tunnel from from four dollars to eight to twelve to to 50 
they're going to price you out. You can't. You have to ride the fucking path train or some shit. And then you're under their control of where you go then and you where could, you are. Yes, they control you. That's what they're building mm. these stupid buildings. Who the fuck can afford to live in these buildings? Is a, I, who is, who's moving in these places? I, your theory has some holes there. Because, it's not my theory. It's just something just I saying, believe. It's really expensive to have a car in Manhattan. It just is. It's so, really expensive. And they actually lost on the price plan like, they tried to do. They tried right. to price people out of coming into New York from the east side. Yeah. And they did lose that. I mean, they, they, they were voted to park more. in one of these but, garages. But, they vote, but the voting is just, that's some more. To park in Manhattan costs you a lot of money, man. Yeah, but that's who's going to be able to do it. An $25, basically, wherever you go. I drive a truck. I can afford, like, it yeah, costs, it costs me 40 yeah. to just come in and have fun. Yeah, yeah Trees is talking about I can the, afford that. But the riffraff. Exactly. Trees is talking about, like, the, the masses. The masses, Like, man. you're going to have the upper elite that's going to be able to drive around and shit, yeah. and that'll be hard to, you know, keep them from coming in, but... The majority of people will be under some kind of control this, this, as to this, when and where uh, they go. This imminent domain scheduled. thing, man, where the, where the government can just go, you know, I want, I want your shit. That's yeah, we're taking that. I right. don't even know how I own my house. I got paperwork, but if a motherfucker said this is mine, I'd be like, I'd be looking for some Jew to help me <laughs> keep my house. But don't forget one guy, that guy with eminent domain, where they were trying to knock it down to build the Nets stadium uh -huh. in Brooklyn. One guy. Held that process up in court for seven years. Seven years? Seven oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. years. Yeah, yeah. And he held out, and he got, everybody else got like a million. <clears throat> for their, they tried to lowball him, and he fucked him in court. He got three million and something for property that was worth nowhere near that. So it's like one guy wow. in court, that's how because you own Because they, they, they still have to go through those things in terms of, it, it's, it's like the reason like they take whatever taxes they take. It's like, is that an arbitrary number that they figured out this is the tax? It's just because they can't take it all because they don't. Like, they they just don't yet. I just can't take it I don't, all. I just, this guy, this blow up guy, I just. <laughs> Vince, Vince from Beyond writes, it's not, this is your quote, by the way, Patrice. It's not my theory, it's just something I believe. And then he writes, what the hell does that ever even mean? Yeah, it's just like, I didn't, look. It's just a feeling you have. Here's, here's all of us. All of us yeah. are parrots of some shit somebody else did. there's thoughts out there that that enable us to think on top of that thought right but there is a there's motherfuckers who work hard on conspiracy theories and and you put them together you go you either go this is stupid mm -hmm. or you go makes a lot of sense and i believe it because you know i just believe in that that kind of shit so i'm saying i didn't make it up but i just i believe in it and i'm thinking uh, on top of it but but that's now, all now the, the thing is and this is always what blows apart any conspiracy theory with me mm -hmm. who's behind it banks it, but banks so banks. so they all get together yes and have these meetings and plan the bilderberg shit. group the fucking and they the, plan the, yes it. The, the 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 um uh, foreign affairs the the committee for foreign affairs it, it's these guys they exist they fucking exist. So they're the ones. Oh, fucking people who just want to run the earth. There's too many people. They want us to take fucking drugs and fucking vaccines that don't work. They just this fucking people who are doing that. Patrice is talking I like just, the guy that get in the movie. Your brakes would give out on your way I home just now. Believe like, it. Yeah, that's what happened in the movie. Patrice's brakes give out. What <laughs> happened? Uh, I, I like what Ant's saying. If if all this is true, what you're saying, you're, you're gonna have a rough ride. Home no, today. it's too yeah. many. There's you're too gonna, many motherfuckers gonna that's gonna have a rough because right now your boy on Fox is spitting that shit just because there's a black president. Now he's spitting New World Order shit. Because Obama's in office, but it's all the real shit. Because I think racism trumps fucking conspiracy theories. <laughs> uh, what's his name there? Um, Sean? Glenn Beck. Oh, Glenn, Glenn Beck, Beck is losing his mind Glenn Beck. with the, this, with the whole world because yeah. of Obama. But that shit is he's starting in the Tea Party. They 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 having him be racist, and a lot of them is on a racist platform. But the platform is fucking government. And government in your life and all that shit that they yeah. should have been spitting when when this f fucking crazy crack was in there before. That Tea Party thing is no more racist than any it, other than anything else. But they busting out like this racist black organization and it's it's mostly racist anti-white fucking rhetoric. I mean, as it should. But, but I mean, that, you got that well, senator fucking 
You hear exactly. That he just apologized. Yelling. He was on page 18 of oh, the fucking Daily News today. Isn't worth shit. That motherfucker. <laughs> what you're saying is racism. <laughs> We're going to have you removed. Have me removed. Oh, you want to step outside? This motherfucker is acting like a thug. Why does every nigga got to sound like that? But he did. In this he case, did he did, like Patrice. He did in this case, he did. I should have known. Anthony's right on this one. I can't go in. Kevin Parker. Anthony doesn't do bad impressions, so he probably just sound just like this. this motherfucker he was very angry. He's so angry. I don't care what color he is. He's just an angry motherfucker. Okay. He, he should <laughs> not be in office. <laughs> I don't have a retort. It's all. It's just all. But but the people who run government are not. This is the thing. They're not a higher species than us. They're the same dummies that we like. They're the same guys that like walk into the bathroom after somebody else stinks it up that's, and go that, like that's, ah, that's, that's true. That's true, Jim. And yeah, I, that's the that thing. Smart, it's like right. they're not that smart. It's the it's the basis. That I think that every idea has has some val validity to it. Like most ideas, there's some ideas that you go, that's just a bad idea. But the idea of the police is a great idea. The idea that somebody's there to help you when you're in trouble, and this is a, the <laughs> right. idea of taxes to help you build shit. The idea of, mm -hmm. of of all this shit is great. But when people get the idea of government's fantastic. That's there's some people that smarter people. But it's the people that fuck up the idea. Every idea is great, but when you get a cop that's just overly <laughs> indulgent in power, it becomes a bad fucking idea. I'm just saying that the people in government, once they're smart enough to use these things against mm -hmm. us, they which they don't give you, just said it. You juice. said it, Opie. You said people just don't take care of themselves, man. There's fucking guys that are in 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 uh, the oil, BP who's just trying to figure out how to switch blame instead of going, man. People are gonna die. Fish yeah. are gonna die. We're gonna die because we're not gonna. Fish are gonna be are gonna cost. Twenty dollars a fucking people ain't gonna be able to fucking eat Who and just be human about yeah, it. Yeah. But they're gonna be shitty about it. Who the fuck is gonna order a fish fry next week? No, but that's what I'm saying. Who's crazy yeah. enough to order a fish next fish week? Fish right now, you, you that's where we get our fish. Yeah. Right now, you figure the fish is still okay, but next week, two weeks from now, who the I ain't fucking ordering fish anytime soon. Shrimp is well, when you fried anyway. Down, fuck it, get a lot of shrimp. <laughs> How about some sushi? Are you gonna order some sushi that's next what, week? Is, I might. Two weeks from now, three Space weeks from now. My mother can't. She fucking. Boston can't even fucking take a shot. It, it, my mother called, you know, she texts me oh, in Boston. Oh, up in Boston, yeah. And, the, and oh. the water's not, the water main broke, the water's not dirty. There's just some horrible bacteria in it that they told them about or whatever. But my mother had gotten sick weeks before because the water looks good. Oh, but it's, shit. she's drinking some horrible that Ebola. That's invisible bacteria, and, right? and now they told them. And it, but they, you gotta, you gotta hope f that somebody is telling you the oh, fucking truth. Oh. And by the way, the water was shut off for what? A day? Two days? Yes. And all hell was starting to break loose as people were trying to get water from the supermarket. At my mother, she's Could you imagine? To, she's if, sixty years old. My mother can't two days with no shot. Go to work, stink. A sixty-year-old lady stinks at work. It's like, for real, can't Why? have water. Yeah, that, we're three days away from chaos. I where, believe it. Where was that? Like, I uh, so believe uh, it. For any Die given, Hard Four. There, it was something like that. <laughs> now, it's like, it, with any situation, if you run out of food, water, if, if the machine breaks down yeah. and there's, there's not the services you're used to, and I don't mean minor little things, like a, a severe breakdown of food, water, things like electricity. that. Electricity. Electricity. You're three days away from complete anarchy and chaos, but people will lose their fucking minds on an unprecedented that's level. That's why the crazy, the, uh, what's her name, Napolitano, Napolit the, 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 the no, boss no, of the... Napolitano, Napolitano I think. Yeah, Napol yeah Napolitano. Sh the, the, the leader of the uh, home, Homeland Security. They're switching uh, the focus from Arabs yeah, to, uh, to the, the crazy guys in the hills. And the, Those yeah. guys got it correct. They're <laughs> not going to fuck you... When this shit starts fucking up, those dudes got it right. It's the, it's the fact that it's that racial angle that they always have to push. Those fuckers got it right. They build their own homes. They got their own water. They got their own supply. They do what motherfuckers did in the back in the day, even though we're, that's not comfortable. But those guys got it right. We yeah. we got it wrong because they'll, they'll be the ones. They control your shit. No one had to survive, and two million people are under the control of. The bacteria that they say is in, that's in the water or whatever, they in, we're just in control. We're being controlled by. That's what I'm saying. Why? But we're, that's not not an, we're not ants. We're not ants being controlled by a person. We're all 
the United States were all on pretty much the same level. And like 2,000 years ago, we were throwing our own shit at each other. And now we have elevators and but planes. But 2,000 years ago, there was... We're not headed towards this domination by a small group. Yes, we I are. don't believe that. That's called, that's, that's called feudalism. That. It's because back in the day, there was one dude running shit. And you go, holy shit, I can't do this. It deep, right outside my door is a million angry motherfuckers. So what I got to do is create... About a hundred thousand greedy motherfuckers <laughs> who who are better. Do you take a hundred thousand out that million and they're better than nine hundred thousand people and give them shit and they will stomp to say, look, you get the clean back the non bacteria water. All you got to do is step on the neck, push a couple of buttons, tell these nine hundred thousand people that are slaves to money now. We're we're debt slaves. And then there's a hundred thousand people who are the haves, and they'll put their fucking William Shatner with his six hundred million. You think he wouldn't kill your family, all my to keep his <laughs> to keep one dollar of his Priceline money? Shatner. He'll put yeah. his fucking foot on the neck. Like it does, it. It's just people are fucked up. I like how you're breaking it down. But you're communism right. would have worked, and if that was the truth, communism people would, fucked up communism. But I'm saying communism would have won if that was the case. It's much easier to control people if everyone's getting paid the same. Everyone serves the government. Communism would have won. Communism it, it, fucked yeah. up because the people at the top got didn't more. do the right <laughs> thing. They got more. They were greedy. And got greedy, right. Okay, so it's the same people who run in communism are the same dummies who are supposedly going to run the World Bank. So, like, they're the same. They make these dumb decisions. They make mistakes. They, get, they, they go that's broke. That's why they haven't done <laughs> the big move yet, because it's just not enough of them to stop a, a, a panic of five million people. Like, as soon as they figure out how to fucking kill a few... And control a few. That's why they're they're shutting down these eminent domain. They're getting the, all this land and then moving you and me or whatever to the side of the ocean where the trains are, so we can get on those trains and go where the fuck they're gonna take it. It, it just it happened in Germany. Like, what the fuck do you think this shit is? Can't happen. You're not allowed to talk to Bill Burr ever again. <laughs> Bill, now Bill's into this shit, but you know it just it's just the, the internet. Because me and Bill don't really correspond about it. It's just there. A lot of people are, believe it. It's just there, dude. Well, then they're gonna have to shut down the internet so we don't get uh, together. You don't think they're doing shit. that shit? China. China is the China figured blueprint out. Figured it out. Yeah. for the world. People love the, the world leaders love China. But why yeah, would the internet have gotten off. this far? It's it like it's fucked. impossible to really, or very difficult. Why would it have gotten this far? Like in the last fifteen years, for a group that's going to control us and control our thoughts, they have allowed something that is basically uncontrollable to explode all over the planet. Yeah, because they didn't, they didn't, they didn't realize it at first. And it's, it's the same thing with the with the news. The reason they have to control it now. Is because again the the the, the Constitution is being broken down, and and the freedom of of press, which is to protect us against uh, what you, the dumb the the news that they're giving us. Like is this somebody just sitting there listening to these? They just found them, and they're like, wow, they just and and you're a thinker, and everybody in this room is really a thinker. Like these stupid motherfuckers. Yeah, they didn't just find the, him. The internet became something that. Um, was supposed to to dummy us down, which it does because now our head is down. We, our head's never up anymore, ever. We just down looking at this and that. And really, once we trust in that information, they start manipulating it, and our, our head's still down trusting that shit. Look at Wikipedia. That shit, people are flunking out of college behind that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody could just say you ain't. So, somebody could so, just invent hold on, hold you. On. Patrice, so if you trust the info, you can control the info. Yes. If you know the people trust the info, then you can control that info. That's right. Once, once we. Kind of like, like that thought. You know, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. just. I like it a little bit. Look, I, it sounds like crazy rantings, but pe I can't believe people just don't have maybe 45% of disbelief. They be they believe I believe in the idea of the police. I love the idea of nine one one. My cat's in a tree. <laughs> I love that fucking shit. But the idea it's people. So that what run kind of timeline shit. do you think before the majority of people start going? Oh fuck, we got ourselves in some shit. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, like, because there's got to be a turning point where the majority of people in the country or in the world, even if this is a whole world thing, turn and goes, wait a minute. 
This isn't like it was. We're kind of really they under... Don't feel, they don't feel... Look, it, here's, here's what kills me about people. And, uh, one thing is that we're so willing to move on from That's something true. that you go, wait a minute, let's, can we s figure this out before I move on to the next thing? Is the fact that there's no... It, the one, it kills me. That there's no basis for our wealth in this country, meaning mm -hmm. our the money's made up from debt. Debt is now wealth in this country. So all we're doing is spend, we are slaves. The government slaves to the bank, and we're slaves to the government. But we just say okay. <laughs> like even that, fuck all the other spaceship shit and nine eleven. The real fact is. You don't own your money. How many times do you pay $7 with a credit card? We don't even carry cash. Cash is useless. So our money is digitized, man. We got digital money. And you don't think they could, they just go, hey, man, you know, uh, m m Mr. Kumia, uh, <laughs> we need an extra $2 million. We We saw something in our, in our books. What? Thank you. You can't hide it because it's, like, it's on your card. Are, are they doing that by closing down some of these banks? The, yeah, it's a one. Because that's wiping out. Bank. That's wiping out people's accounts just like that. Because just they're only like that. they're only insured up to what? Depending on the bank, two two fifty, two hundred fifty thousand. So if you got a million dollars in the bank, all of a sudden you got a million. You, you just lost, lost seven fifty. Just where is that seven fifty? Paying off the bank. But a lot of guys that a year ago would have been called power brokers lost all their money too. Like two years ago, a lot of these guys, the head of, of, of uh, say Wachovia or all these banks, would have been considered part of that conspiracy. Yeah, but they're not but the Rockefellers. They they're, not the, they're not the. They're not the creators of. The, see, people think they got a little cash. If I had, look, n give me five million. I'm on. I'm gonna dig a hole and hide it somehow, or, or I'm gonna buy jewels or something because <laughs> yeah. I know in this system if. They'll fuck a white boy. They'll fuck me. I, it's like Donnie Brasco. I can only be a friend of yours. I can't be a friend of ours. I, I can't. I so it's like these guys that you think a billion dollars, they're not Rockefeller and, 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 and fucking J.P. Moore. The guys who created this system who said, fuck the, the Constitution, nigga. We going to run the world. And that shit happened in 1913 with the fucking uh, the meeting that... That they, uh, you, you see this thing, Why We Fight? There was a, I, I keep, the, the, you know, it's, it's not hitting. Oh, the, the documentary? The documentary. That was great. The, the, when this guy was What's apologizing, that? um, was it Truman uh, that was apologizing? Oh, no. He apologized for getting us into this. He said, I'm so sorry that the industrial uh, banking system and the, I'm sorry I fucked us up. I'm sorry. We're fucked. I sold it off. We we this country went bankrupt in 1931, man. It went bank. We we are we're just cattle, man. We ain't yeah. shit. So we'll never really notice because we just kind of get used to things and go. We're on a treadmill, as man. long as the as long as you turn the faucet and the water comes out and what do you, you care? Know, and you got a pool, the switch and the light, and a fucking on. house, man. What do you care? Yeah, you don't. It. You right? It's just yeah, what do you as care? long as as long as I have it tomorrow and the next Thanks, day. Man. So what? It's man. supposed to be better for Anthony. Is that what you're saying? It's better for Ant. So no, that, is it supposed to be better for Anthony? Some of us have to be comfortable. You, you, you that's that's the thing about revolt, man. And when people revolted, everybody was fucked. Yeah, and yeah. then it, and then it was like a close so to being keep, late. All right, I'm just trying to like uh, break down a little bit. So if you keep enough. Just enough people happy, like an Anthony yeah. and myself, whatever. Jimmy probably would be in the, uh, enough people like to, a, with the idea of happiness. Yeah. So yeah, then yeah, it, yeah. It, it it makes it uh, easier not to have a, a revolution on you. Because what are poor people attaining to be? They're attaining to be you, right? A, a poor person is attaining to be me, and then I'm attaining to be you, <laughs> and you might be attaining to be yeah, Bill exactly. Gates. So it's you, all so like, you keep enough yeah. people happy. And then uh, other people feeling like they could uh, attain what yeah. Anthony has. Until everybody have. sounds like a homeless person so that's why talking about bread in your stomach. There ain't no bread. <laughs> soaks up so, the that's why in the end, so that's why in the end a uh, revolution is impossible in the year 2010 in this country. Probably not. Too much information, too much. Back in the 1700s, a lot easier I mean, you to read revolt. A, you read about a company, Monsanto, they are dismembering dismantling Mexico. Mexico used to have be self-sufficient with their food. Monsanto came in, and they have genetically modified food that only grows with the chemicals that they have. 
and the, and they spray it on the fucking corn that the Mexicans use to 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 be independent. Kill that. Now they have their fucking science corn <laughs> that they need to grow with their science shit, and it's just fucking killing us. Uh, it was Woodrow Wilson that apologized. Woodrow Wilson. Yep. Thank you. He's, like, he's apologized for fucking us over. But I didn't see that documentary. I was thinking That's of, a great I was thinking of the one that Ant saw and I saw as well, Fog of War. Oh, Fog of War. Is the one. Last time I was there, you guys guy... showed the fucking bomb thing, which was, yeah, no, no, no. It was shocking Fog, to me. Fog of War was great because the guy was just stuck in horrible Washington traffic. And this oh, guy man, was... The Secretary of Defense yeah, for um, like Nixon. Yeah, and that guy was re responsible for, for a lot of shit. And he's just, <laughs> just one of us stuck in fucking horrible... He's in traffic like... Wow. Horrible commuter traffic poor in the old rain. Guy now. Right. But when did all this fighting? Because it's like it's not like we were nice, and then all of a sudden got shitty after J. P. Morgan. The, we, the American Indians were lopping each other's heads off. Mm -hmm. It's it's basically just human nature. We've I always agree. been fighting. So if they say why we fight, and they somehow come back to the rich trying to keep well, us, no, it's not like we were why, fighting when we were separate too. I I agree with you, and that's why that's the use of it. It's like if you find the 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 one I don't know if it's or if it's just opportunist. If me and you have a nature to fight, and somebody else goes, holy shit, it's like boxing. Don King make all the money. Why, these other motherfuckers blast their heads open. <laughs> so if you got, a, we, if we are animals and we like fighting anyway, it's like, shit, I don't like to fight. Let's figure out how to get all these motherfuckers who like doing stupid shit to do stupid shit. And I, like, if you, if you can benefit from a guy who's willing to blow himself up for some cause that's some horse shit, yeah. Why wouldn't you make a couple of zillion dollars if he was a piece of shit instead of stopping him from doing that right. shit? Let me, I don't believe that one baboon can run the other baboon's life as effectively as, as but a group you're of, saying. But a group of baboons might be able to Look, man, have a little more juice. They're not that much smarter. Hitler killed six million fucking people, man. Mm -hmm. But he didn't do it. He got, he convinced yeah. other motherfuckers to do it. And, and he was charismatic enough to go, these people ain't shit. Let's kill them hey. like roaches. It people are fucking idiots. So he's a baboon, but he this dumber baboons. There's all there's a leader baboon. I want to ask Anthony something because I I really don't know the answer to this. Did Hitler? How many people did Hitler actually kill? I don't know. In World War One, uh, he probably killed a few people. Right. Uh, he told other people during the war to kill, obviously. But, but yeah, but, I mean, later on, he when he became the Fuhrer, he didn't kill people. He didn't kill anybody. He but, had and, people and killed. And who do you blame? Do you blame he him? He had people killed. D this that's what I'm saying. Sure, do you yeah. blame him? That's why I don't like people who just go, okay, it's my job. Do you blame Hitler or do you blame the fucking guys who was just fucking killing people? I don't. Who do you blame? If I'm like, hey, I hate Chinese. I want them all dead. And somebody goes, you know, you're right, Patrice. Let's kill them. Am, is it me? Because I'm just fucking... I got the, the ability to fucking coerce. But then you go back... I don't even like, know if Manson's fucking guilty with but, these other idiots that did his fucking bidding. But then you could argue you need the ideal situation because it was, you know, the surrender of World War One and uh, Germany was uh, put in a pretty bad position with the Treaty of Versailles, so that's what made World War Two possible and made Nazi Germany possible because the people were so disillusioned with their position and their lack of power, and the German people do not like being told Fair. they cannot build fucking cool. Yeah, no one was shit. happy, right? It yeah, was, yeah, it was, yeah. the, you know, the, the, so, the, you know. So that made it easier. So, you know, w w as far as a conspiracy thing goes, no, I can't see that. But uh, you can't just have some guy show up where people are generally happy and go, hey, start killing motherfuckers. They're going to be like, hey, this guy's crazy. You know, you need some, you need the proper mix of misery and scapegoats and, you know, shit like that to make the perfect mix where one guy can then say, hey, motherfuckers, let's start killing people. And, and even though that baboon was smarter than the other ones, that baboon shot himself in a bunker because he, he fucked up. It's right. like they're not that much ahead of us. There's someone more charismatic, but none of them is smart enough. To pull it all oh, off Russians, and make it work. Russians were getting a little close. <laughs> even, exactly. Even, even that right. baboon knew that. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I yeah. don't want these yeah. guys taking me. You, yeah. you got everyone reacting. We got to take a couple of these. Uh, Rich, Long Island. Patrice O'Neill in studio today. What's up, Rich? Attack of Conspiracy Negro. Attack of Conspiracy Negro. <laughs> 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 what an ass. <laughs> I fucking been waiting all that time to do that. That's uh, uh, that asshole. <laughs> Got to be the first call. What an asshole. Uh, Jeff in Canada. Jeff. 
Yeah, hey, this is uh, for Patrice. Uh, one of the Rothschilds was quoted as saying, we make more money in one day of war than we do in a whole year of peace. Yeah. Mm. War is good business, right? Yeah, I mean, it's it's great uh, business, good, man. Good candy, too. Yeah, the Rothschild, do you ever have one of those? <laughs> it's so creamy. I think a lot of people know that. enough of the Rothschilds, by the way. I'm and tired again, of hearing I, about you. <laughs> yes. Can I please say this? Mm -hmm. I, look, if you get a guy that's just immersed in this on one side or the other, I'm talking about a little bit of information that yeah, I, I, I try to put my own mind to not uh, just spit out what's my I'm not somebody's here gonna fucking kill me they're gonna make me look like an asshole if they have enough shit to punch me in the head with that's but why I'm not sitting here going wow you know? Patrice you sound crazy because it is a little bit of this a little that and I'm usually the one that says anything conspiracy I'm jumping on and saying bullshit 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 but there's something going on I can't quite put my finger on there's something going on that's why they invented financially you're right uh, that's but I don't know if it's just the evolution of where we were going anyway, if it's some group of people that are orchestrating this, or if it's just, you know, like I said, some kind of evolution, like, like, people change. Uh, we, well, if you we, think people are, are running getting it, though. smaller because of uh, the information age. Now, that's something that came about because of just evolution of our, our natural uh, curiosity uh, of, of places, like when people just set out in ships to see what the fuck was over there. Electronically, we're doing that now, so the world's a smaller place, which means we trade with people. But electronically, there's somebody that is behind every piece of industry. Somebody said, it was, I think it was the guy, this guy Aaron Russo, who's, who was a movie producer, and then he started going into, into this uh, the globalization world. And he said something about democracy. He said, Demo he said off the forefathers didn't want democracy. They wanted freedom. Democracy mm. is not freedom. No, you're right. It's yeah. it is slave it is fifty one percent of the people control forty nine forty nine percent of the people are slaves. <laughs> it's it's two wolves and a sheep voting for what's for dinner. That's what democracy is. So, so we are under the control of something when you think democratic. We, it's we, not free, 